Breaking. IPOP expresses fear over former governor's suspicious visit to Unamdekano in detention. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, on Saturday, December 4, 2021, expressed fear over what is called unsolicited visit of Senator Oji Uzokalu to its leader, Mazin Abdekanu, in DSS facility, warning that is anything, if anything happens to him, the senator and the DSS will be held responsible. IPOP alleged that the Abia State's former governor is fond of visiting its leader anytime he is detained, and IPOP has always taken such visits with suspicion. A statement by IPOP's media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, entitled, If Anything Happens to Our Leader, Oji Uzokalu should be held responsible, said they are not comfortable with ex-governor's visit. IPOP's statement read in part, We the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, under the command and leadership of our great leader, Mazunam Dekanu, is raising alarm over the unsolicited visit of Oji Uzokalu to so our leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, whenever our leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, is detained. We don't know the mission of Oji Uzokalu over the visit and we are worried. We therefore wish to put the word on notice that Oji Uzokalu will be held responsible for whatever happens to our leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, in detention. We are not comfortable with Oji Uzokalu's suspicious visit to our leader. We don't know whose interest he protects. We will also hold responsible those who permitted him to see our leader in detention. The DSS allowed him access against court order, which all visitors, including Kanu's lawyers, comply with. We all knew that Oji Uzokalu's name is among those who bankrolled and sponsored the extraordinary rendition of Mazi Unabdi Kanu from Kenya to Nigeria. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, on Saturday, December 4, 2021, expressed fear over what is called unsolicited visit of Senator Oji Uzokalu to its leader, Mazu Namdekanu, in DSS facility, warning that if anything happens to him, the senator and DSS will be held responsible. IPOP alleged that the Abia State's former governor is fond of visiting its leader anytime he is detained, and IPOP has always taken such visits with suspicion. A statement by IPOP's media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, entitled If Anything Happens to Our Leader, Oji Uzokalu Should Be Held Responsible, said they are not comfortable with ex-governor's visit. IPOP's statement read in part, We the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, under the command and leadership of our great leader, Mazunam Dekanu, is raising alarm over the unsolicited visit of Oji Uzokalu to our leader, Mazunam Dekanu, whenever our leader, Mazunam Dekanu, is detained. We don't know the mission of Oji Uzokalu over the visit, and we are worried. We therefore wish to put the world on notice that Oji Uzokalu will be held responsible for whatever happens to our leader, Mazunam Dekanu, in detention. We are not comfortable with Oji Uzokalu's suspicious visit to our leader. We don't know whose interest it protects. We, also, we will also hold responsible those who permitted him to see our leader in detention. The DSS allowed him access against court order, which all visitors, including Kanu's lawyers, comply with. We all knew that Oji Uzokalu's name is among those who bankrolled and sponsored the extraordinary rendition of Mazinam de Kanu from Kenya to Nigeria. To my dear listeners, we've come to the end of our today's news, and let's let's take it from this view: is is um Oji Uzokalu visit to the detention to visit them um, as a name, kind of not a suspicious one, and it is a very worrisome one which gets me worried and it keeps baffling me. Why is it now, for the past seven months that he has been detained at the Department of Security Services? Why is it now that? the ex-governors not choose to visit him if not as if they are just going there to cancel him in the council means silence him just to just to address him and tell his people to 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 come his people and 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 just back up about just back off against this biafra or agit not to agitate any longer we don't know in whose support he is really 
because these people are fighting for their pocket. They are fighting for their own pocket. They are self-centered. They are, they are, they are just fighting for their own selfish interest. Only because he wants the federal government to, to think, even not if, if it's not the federal government that sent him there. He wants the people to think, okay, fine, he's doing the rightful thing. And he said, Kano's family members are, are very close to him. What were you looking before Kano was abducted? And do not let us forget that um, Oji Uzokalu was one of the people that bankrolled and supported his rendition back to Nigeria. So why is your visit? Why were you visiting the Kano in detention? Even as if you have an evil plan in mind. It's kind of obvious that you have another intention visiting the guy in the detention of the Department of Security Services. And now before I go and read the news again, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB on Saturday, December 4, 2021, expressed fear over what is called unsolicited visit of Senator Oji Uzokalu to its leader Mazina Abdekanu in DSS facility, warning that if anything happens to him, the senator and DSS will be held responsible. IPOB alleged that the Abia State's former governor is fond of visiting its leader anytime he's detained, and IPOB has always taken such a visit with suspicion. A statement by IPOB's media and publicity secretary, Emma Powerful, entitled If Anything Happens to Our Leader, Oji Uzokalu should be held responsible said they are not comfortable with ex-governor's visit, IPOP statement read in part with the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP under the, under the command and leadership of our great leader, Mazin Abdekano, is raising alarm over the unsolicited visit of Oji Uzokalu to our leader, Mazin Abdekano, whenever our leader, Mazin Abdekano, is detained. We don't know the mission of Oji Uzokalu over the visit and we are worried we therefore wish to put the word on notice that Oji Uzokalu will be held responsible for whatever happens to our leader, Mazu Namdekanu, in detention. We are not comfortable with Oji Uzokalu's suspicious visit to our leader. We don't know whose interest it protects. We will also hold responsible those who permitted him to see our leader in detention. The DSS allowed him access against court order which all visitors, including Kanu's lawyer, comply with. We all knew that Oji Uzokalu's name is among those who bankrolled and sponsored the extraordinary rendition of Mazin Namdekanu from Kenya to Nigeria. Now we've come to the end of our today's news. To my dear listeners, please drop by the comment section and let us know what your view is all about today's news. Thank you.